Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here in the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 using the sub mod, The Fire Rises. Which is a weird way I said it this time. But regardless, we're going MAGA or BUST in this campaign, the State of the Union. The State of the Union this year was an interesting one, as usual. President Trump positively touted his achievements since the last State of the Union speech and invited many people who he considered to have been affected positively by his policies, most notably Juan Guaido, the interim president of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. The president was also attempted to calm fears towards the rising COVID-19 virus in China by announcing talks with Xi Jinping about containing the virus. Towards the end of the speech, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi tore up a speech right behind him, which saw the ire of the Republicans and received lukewarm reception from the Democrats. However, the speech was mostly received well and shows the people that America is on the up and up. And like I said, MAGA or bust this campaign, so we're going to lose a little bit of political power, get a little more stability, which would be nice, and we're on the up and up. It's pretty great. So we're siding with Trump in this one. While it certainly has its flaws, no one can deny the genius of Trump. Challenging and beating his political establishment, he remains a controversial yet deeply po popular president with the ability to hold huge rallies and keep our economy strong. We're going to plan for the worst, though. The so-called coronavirus is no doubt a storm that is brewing and will inevitably strike America next. We must take whatever preemptive measures necessary to prevent the initial spread of the disease and also begin building up monetary reserves that allow us to react appropriately to any rapidly changing circumstances. So, um, uh, ban travel, but that's alright. Because we need to. Also, as a precaution, we are, uh, Building forts in Illinois because we love the state of Illinois. Yeah, yeah, that that state. Yeah, totally love Illinois. Yeah, actually, mm, yeah, totally. Haven't gotten any speeding tickets to Illinois before. Haven't had to take any toll roads to Illinois before. I love Illinois. That's right. Um, regardless, what do we got here? So we got approval rating. We're a high approval. Opposition taking ooh action against us. That's not good. Gain conservative popularity goes up. A little more approval rating. Humiliate the opposition. I kind of like that idea. It's political sabotage. Ooh, I don't want that. Uh, 14 days for, uh, to mission. Opposition. So, okay. You can get more po conservative popularity, or you can add more days so our approval rate doesn't, doesn't go down as much. Let's go with that one for now. Let's see what happens. As we plan for the worst. And we're going about the COVID 19 virus. Please go ahead. Assuming that the economy has affected us. Huh. Back the blue. Implement emergency measures. Isn't this a, the wrong way of using effect? Isn't I'm sorry, I'm being, becoming a grammar Nazi now, apparently. But like, affected isn't affect. An affect, it's affected us. Yeah, the affect is a noun, affect is a verb. Anyway, sorry, the devs have done a fantastic job with the model. They've done very, very well. Implement emergency measures. Even the most challenging of times demand the most radical prevention. The average American's day-to-day -day lives are the biggest contributor to the explosion of rates of infection since the virus landed on our shores. Closing down stores and bringing all of our people to the confines of their homes is possibly the only way to stall the virus to control the level. It may be devastating to our economy, but what other choice do we have? Gain 10,000 masks, take 140 days to research the vaccine, minor lockdowns, sort of low approval, mass lockdowns, or Operation Warp Speed. Surgical masks have proven to be very efficient at reducing the spread of the virus, alongside a cabal of many other measures. The pandemic is increasingly blowing out of control, and by introducing mass production of surgical masks to our civilian population, we can hopefully put a roadblock on the expert of the virus. Add three days to mission statewide coronavirus. Take 70 days. Um, it takes 140 days. Emergency measures. Operation Warp Speed. Oh, if you don't know this one, please go ahead, because I've read this before, so. Boop. So, probably go with this one Operation Warp Speed and then prepare the vaccine. The development of a vaccine is now our top priority to ensure that America can return to a status quo. It's not just a mere competition between us and China, it's a competition to see how many lives we can save by testing the speed and dedication of our country's top scientists. We should further incentivize this by pulling huge amounts of funds together to further the efforts of our vaccine's progress. Oh. Um, if you want to read about America's first coronavirus case, please go right ahead, because I've heard this before, but it seems like this is our problem now, too. <sighs> that sucks. We got the land forts made, which is great. Oh crap, I don't remember which states do we border that we don't get. I don't think we get the Mormon states. Colorado's gonna be a battleground. Um, building roads would take too long, 9,000. We're not gonna have enough time to build any of that stuff. All this stuff takes forever to build, too. Steel silos, 8,000. Energy farms. Well. As you can see, we built quite a few land forts along the line here, which would be nice. Ooh, we might need some forts up here as well, especially in the Upper Peninsula, perhaps. I'm just mostly worried about Joe Biden. 
Sleepy Joe. Well, he's not super sleepy some of the time. I'm not sure about this part of the border, so we'll see. Kind of doubt it, so this is our problem now, too, unfortunately. So, what do we have here? Kirby Bounum? Yeah, it's President Yaki. Oh, well, look at that pickle pie. Okay. So, we can't do this one. <clears throat> Bone for Donald. Donald. Uh, Donald. Donald. Ah, so a piece less of the Taliban nears. Look at that. Boop. Boop. We ain't got enough masks. There's a plan for the worst. Oh, stimulate the economy. Well, we're going to Operation Whoops. We want to get this vaccine stuff done. And Old Crest hits America. If you want to do this too, please go ahead and add some boffin divisions to span. Oh, well, that's good. What have, on earth could we have done to deserve this? Let's build that other fort before we're done in Cook County. We're going to need it. Implement guidelines. Ban international travel. From our experience of banning travel to and from other countries, we can conclude that its efficiency is unparalleled. Just like we put an iron gate in front of the hordes of Middle Eastern terrorists, we put a barrier on the Chinese virus from breaching our borders and infecting our populace. The safety of our people comes first, of course. That's fine. Oh, and we can't implement guidelines now. Oh. Well, I want to implement guidelines. Well, god dang it. Mass military production or mass production? Oh, that's not good. And then Dow crash 2,000 points. Why is the red line going down? That just means it's time to buy. We're going to do this. Please go ahead, too. And unemployment hitting 20%. Not good. But I'm not going to touch these. I've read all these before, so. And if you like to read them, please go ahead. And from Rags Riches. Look at that. Boop. Not touching it. And poverty rate skyrocket? It, you know, it is what it is. Don't worry about the debt. No. Um, yeah, Illinois? Illinois needs some masks. I think they'd be great for that. We could stimulate the economy, but right now this is more... Oh, we can't do this one yet. Oh, stimulate the economy. Businesses have suffered heavily under the pandemic, especially small private businesses. The president has proposed aptly named stimulus checks, which would give money to all of our citizens to help them pay mortgages, pay day-to-day -day costs, and help keep the rent paid on time, with zero cost for state, after all. The Federal Reserve can simply print the money we need. Oh, we have political power for that, yay. Um, 15,000 masks is quite a few. 35 days, 3 days. Get us those masks. Oh boy. Mississippi. Let's do this one more time. Uh -huh. We're we'll trying to prevent any sort of outbreak as fast as we can, and now we're waiting for political power. We'll start doing them down here too. So, keeping this one open, see what if there's anything else we can do. What are we missing? Light mechanized. Oh, some light mechanized. Well, there you are. And what else are we missing here? Motorized. Ew. Motorized. And what are we also missing? Attack aircraft. Air attack aircraft and utility helicopters. There we go. Attack aircraft. Uh, I think we already have attack aircraft up there, so. Well, one percent. Oh, that's not good. Humiliate the opposition. Well, I want to rally support. Shall we? Because that'll help us with the political power just a wee bit as well. There we go. Triple chemical uh, plant strike. If you're about that, please go right ahead. We'll talk about that later as well, but because the other part, the decision we make for this will determine what we do later on. Oh, uh, you know what this one said. Ah. 
The strike was broken. Sir, those commies right. Good. Is there stimulating the economy? Reinvigorate the economy. To do soon. Approval rating goes up higher. Ah, oh, that's better. Ah, oh, we were so close. Oh, look at that pee pee. Anything we do here at all? I doubt it. Yeah, no. Mike Pompeo, Mike Pence, Judas, oh, Judas Priest, you know. Steven Mnuchin is a good guy. John Ratcliffe, nice. Low taxes. Well, I'd like to raise the taxes, but there ain't much we can do about it right now. Implement guidelines. Yeah. We should be killing unarmed black protesters, which actually this happened in real life. All the stuff planning for this mod apparently happened um, before, like, even that one guy died. What was his name? George Floyd, yeah. The devs were already planning all this before this all happened, so. <sighs> can that position stop taking shots at us, please? We're doing the best we can. America first, of course. Better please deploy. If you want to be all of these, please go ahead. Oh, that's not good. Go home, hippies. Come on. Major city riots. Well, we could try it. Saudi king is dead. Humiliate the opposition. It's fine. Purchase more masks, yeah. Make sure my protests. We're going to this one again, please. Go right ahead, too. False flag incidents. Fire rises. Nevada. Which is more masks. We're buying as many masks as we possibly can now. Let's see major city riots. As violence continues in cities across the U.S. and clash between law enforcement and the movement escalates, damage to major infrastructure has become inevitable. The train lines, roads, trams, buses, and much more has been damaged in re different regions and will continue to do so until the movement is somewhat dispersed. Rhetoric from the movement echoed throughout the media outlets, has, which has downplayed the damage, thus preventing us from escalating our responses even if we would like to. Nationwide rioting. I'll come eventually. If you want to do this, please go ahead. He can't breathe, he says. But whatever. He's lying to us. Anyways, I didn't hear that from me. Now we need more political power. As we try to reinvigorate the economy, but back blue. The riots are getting out of hand, and the hypocrisy of millennials to destroy our streets and businesses while devastating disease is spreading is outstanding. They dare. To make it even worse by pressuring our state governments to reduce police funding, as we need any more criminals rampaging through our cities. We cannot stand by anymore as mob rule takes over our country. Oh, you do get more weekly stability, which you do like. Deploy vaccines, yeah. We're going to do this one first to stop the spread and then back the blue. You know, this one, ah, we'll do this one first. We don't have enough power. Prepare the vaccine. Now, yeah. see so if we do this again, please go ahead. Richmond police to ban, alright, whatever. Defund the police, let's see how that works out for you. Compromise with the protesters. Peacefully dissolve protests. That seems pretty good. Crush rioters. Swiftly remove subversives. Now is not the time to endanger even more of a country with more infection rates by marching through our streets. As much as we hate to do so, we shall concede somewhat to the protesters. In town, they will realize their mistakes when nobody comes to help them when a criminal is breaking down the door. Or crush the rioters. There's one thing we can learn from our Chinese rivals is that insistence and somehow some elbow grease is just about enough to force stability, even if it may come as heavy-handed. Funding shall flood our police stations with riot gear and 24-7 patrols of our streets will begin. The anarchist commons will be dismantled and the riots will done to nothing. Our patience has run thin, especially with bigger problems that are rupturing within America. Mask mass production. I'll we'll try to get more. Activation. If you want to do a White House siege, please go ahead. Boop. A little proof on the conclusion of the countdown name mission. Lose a lot of political power. The other option. It can't happen here, right? If you want to do this, please go ahead too. Increase nationwide strikes. Comms are sinking the economy. 
COVID-19 cases increase. Well, that's not good. Uh huh. Let's see about this one. The siege being organized. Movements organized what they call uh, the siege on the White House, which, if they succeed in launching, will cause a great hurdle to our administration, making it a lot harder to manage. What a bunch of LARPers. Come on, we already don't have political power. Kenyaki Tucky. Come on, we're gonna go to Kentucky next. We're gonna back the blue, and now we're gonna go for the virus. You know, we're gonna be like slightly struggle, even though we are technically on a struggle, a compromise with the rioters. And then end the chaos. The anarchy on has finally died down as a brave police force to gain their bearings and have begun efficiently cracking down on rioters, even with the unfavorable circumstances. While there are still riots present in some parts of a country, they are largely present in democrat states. If anything, they're doing us a favor by embarrassing those hacks and their negligent support of these wannabe revolutionaries. Trouble on Capitol Hill. You don't need to that, please go ahead. Take it back. Yeah. The Jewish Defense League? Ah, the Jews are rising up. So small, you can't even draw what you want there. It's alright. We'll get it back. One way or another. Sure, efficiency gain. More research speed would be nice. Max explosion Beirut. And the California wildfire. And some more major city riots, whatever. We tried. Oh, take back Capitol Hill. Yep. Mass crackdowns in Belarus. We could send the police. Explosion in the Freeport Chemical Plant. You can run that, please go ahead. Pray for Texas. Y'all's better to be praying for Texas. I'm gonna compromise with them. Next time we play Trump, because I like to play Trump as again sometime. Uh, I'll even run about this, please go ahead. Congrats, Mr. Biden. Huh? Not who I would have chosen. Um, but uh, we're gonna be like a struggle Trump for now. Oh, we got rid of him. Nice job. Shinzo Abe resigns and arrows ended. Oh, this is also sort of screen, so country summary and whatnot. Tips and tricks. It's inevitable. Rise in African identity. Oh, American only oil. That'd be pretty good. Um, I like that a lot. But we're gonna compromise the protesters first. Seems like the left has gone off the deep end. Yeah, that's pretty normal. Yeah. Almost no political power. What else we got? Anything up here? No. The next election. Donald Trump. Suburban radicalism. If you heard that, like to read about that, please go ahead. Um, Mississippi, Kansas, Nebraska, Dakota, and Navajo. Oh, we have, oh, we deployed the vaccine. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. In Idaho, maybe Wyoming. Uh, masks in supply. That's gonna affect this too. Oh crap! Lost my well, you know what? We'll do in Idaho. <clears throat> Wildfire continues to ravage the west coast to death to all swords. Confederate sympathy skyrocket. Those are still voting red. It's a beautiful flag. Anyways. There you go. There you go. The death of Ruder Bader Ginsburg and the siege begins. Ooh, I've not read this one before. As movement protests have gripped the nation and social pressures have seemingly paralyzed effective responses against them, their actions have only grown bolder. Holding de facto extrajudicial uh, authority for the time being, thousands of the movement's members within the D.C. have taken to the streets once more, this time towards the White House, where the current president resides. Secret Service and National Guard man the perimeter, National Guard man the perimeter of the White House, with the mass movement that has carried forth to the doorstep of the president has threatened the thinly held perimeter multiple times. Warning shots have been fired, but as of yet, no out-of-control chaos has been brought forth. Many predict, however, that it's only a matter of time until more extreme elements within the ranks incite a violent breach of the perimeter. Speakers about shot rhetoric across the fences, and mass movements continue to cause infrastructure damage and looting around the region. While the streets have been emptied of all except those men and women of action. According to insider reports, the president may have fled via underground passageways during the siege, though it's not confirmed. I think it's a bit close. Well, we're not going to touch that one. Stop the spread. Well, I think that'd be a good idea to do. Send in police. Stop the spread. Picture front march in Philadelphia. Are you going to this? Please go ahead. Okie dokie. Wyoming. Let's see. Riyadh. Remount Anarchist Reform Collective? Anarchist here? How absurd. 
Growth and Cascading Identity. You don't have to read about this. Please go ahead. Odd bunch of extremists. Is Alaska is that affected by the coronavirus? No, they are. How about Hawaii? No, they are too. It is what it is. And the chaos. Yeah, we'll remove waning riots. That'll be good. It is October 7th, so we got an election coming up. Lasting peace. How about American oil only oil? We're allowing foreign oil has been a disaster for our energy sector. We need to turn our own domestic suppliers to ensure that automobiles can keep running. What's this? Dissolve protests in Fort Worth. Well, that'd be good to do. Increase the southwestern separatism. Mexican invasion. Yeah, we need more uh, political power and whatnot, so. Deploy vaccines in Dakota? Yeah, absolutely. And inject them with all that good stuff. If you can call it good. Not even political party. De De Bill de Blasio assassinated. So basically, this one, we do this one, please go ahead. We get to blame, who put the blame on. Patriot Front. Uh, well, blame all the National Socialists because we can't. Wow, that's a lot of fascism. Elections near. Come on, four more years. The year's been quite the test for President Trump. The outcome of his election will decide the nation's future. I'll serve as a referendum on the president's populist platform. He better win. Smag or bust. Sending the police? Well, I'd rather just get rid of their strongholds. Oh, and there's a Saudi Arabian civil war. The monarch shatters. Now, we could help them out. You guys like us the, the, the very most, but you can't lose your central cities. How many people can we send? Seven? Infantry, how much armor you got? Not that much, in truth be told. Five of y'all. The two infantry things. There you go. Boop. Boop. Abrams? That'd be nice. Help him out if you can. Good old American diplomacy. Let's go bomb some brown people. Just in case I'll send two. Get her done. And as you see, I did. Oh, I did have ships. I could have done some uh, stuff over there. Oh man, we're going to need some serious anti air. There you go. And the chaos, please. Oh, they delay in the election. Come on, people, say no to Joe. Just like in the last late presidential election, the election results have taken ages to count. Unlike the last election, however, counting has taken so long that most of the ballot counters have already gone to bed. So far, though, Joe Biden and Donald Trump, and maybe this time too, seem to be in equilibrium, with most media outlets projecting a Biden victory. Ballot meddling. Video from an anonymous source. A surface showing trucks outside of Georgia voting poll and loading bags of ballots and wheeling them into a building after the polls are closed, counting at 4 a.m. Others on social media claim they have seen similar trucks and people unloading ballots into polls a few hours after the polls closed all across the country, with the media and the Democrats firmly denying any allegations, with Joe Biden seemingly in the electoral lead. Regardless of the truth, the public is starting to lose faith in the system. Something's fishy around here. Yeah, straight line going up. Hmm. You can't trust your elections. No faith in your elections means you got a dead nation. Uh, we can't lose Riyadh. We're going to focus up in the north and get rid of these guys up here first. That's the main goal. Alright, you're in. We're going to end the chaos and uh, as much as I like lasting peace, American only oil. I love being offensive. Can we send any more masks and whatnot? Oh, yeah. There you go. Third Congo War. Sorry, Africa. We don't really give a crap about you. Oh, whoops. We gotta do this too. My bad. And there you go. Can you not lose? The media calls for Joe. It's official. Several large uh, media outlets have called the race for Joe Biden as several swing states. It seemed to completely flip from an increasingly large edge over Biden on election night to close call race for Joe in many swing states, of course. With claims of ballot meddling increasingly become center stage in the political debates, on the election, many are beginning to ban the media, even with some who favored Trump in the past. However, the Trump campaign, the GOP, and the independents have already begun legal proceedings in several states to contest the results of elections or the results the states have announced. 
Like I said, it's mad good to bust, and we're gonna be busting hard here probably with how the Civil War is gonna go. Trump holds the rally here, of course. Despite warnings against large social gatherings and self-proclaimed resistance, Donald Trump is out a rally to make sure his base and fellow Republicans would know that he keeps fighting against second term, exposing the never Trumpers who use put Trump for political gain. I thought we'd have more political power by now, but whatever. Guess not. Ten things You're going about that one. Please go ahead. Here. Focus your things at the same time. Oh, we're out of that airbase now. Yeah. Makes sense. You get rid of these guys. I can shift you down here so we can get that airbase again so we can actually bomb people. Oh, here. Go back here. Wisconsin papers leaked. You're about that. Please go ahead. Lies, slander. 2020 election, Texas case thrown out. I remember that. Given the justice system is corrupt, you bet it is. By God, you break. I think so. Uh, we'll go with this one. You know, we're gonna need these guys back here. So y'all get down here fast. GOP collapses. Sounds pretty normal. Be there. Will be wild. And last in peace. I don't see how much peace there is in the end. Judge rules the DNC has right to pick candidates in back rooms. Democracy dies in darkness. Thank you, Washington Post. A picture of front marches in DC. Well, there you go, too. They're having little get togethers. It's all friendly in the end. Here, I hope not. See the victory go to the spoils. Barbara Lee joins the PSL. Dead weight drifts away. There you go. That's what we need here. That's what's going to win us a war here, so. Oh, only two can be here. Riyadh. Well, that's the case. You guys go back. Jihadists are uprising in Mecca. There you go. Just don't lose your, your places here. There you go. Koreans are trying, but they're not trying that well. Trying well enough, as is. Alright, we're definitely losing there. That's what I'm We lost a bat. We. Hmm? Why don't you go down there and see what you can do? We cannot lose Riyadh. So, Biden declares victory in the U.S. presidential election. Flynn comes out of retirement. Trump fires Secretary of Defense. Troubling times ahead. Pansy traitor. Yeah. Biden's been certified uh, president. Yeah. What's the action we take? Oh, prevent outbreak in Montana. Well, we have got a couple of forgot about you, Montana. Okay, maybe I did, but still. Sleepy Joe's gotta go. He ain't no leader. Let's see what you can do about this. The Berkeley Massacre. Horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. Very nice. Now get in there. Work your magic. Really work your magic here. Look at that. Beautiful. It's the way we like getting rid of our enemies. Let's blow them up. Ah, love it. And we just want to last in peace. A good economy, last in peace. The inauguration, Joe Biden. Well, America weeps. If you want to read about this, please go ahead. Well, that's terrible. Uh, well, I guess Joe Biden's in the White House situation room. Flanked by Joe Kamala and loyal congressmen, and those in the Joint Chiefs who stayed true to America. Someone shaking Chief Justice Roberts, so unnerved by the past few days' events, was officiating the ad hoc ceremony. Placed his right hand on the family Bible, or the, uh, yeah. Biden repeated the oath, I, Joseph Biden Jr., do solemnly swear that I'll faithfully execute the office of the presidency of the United States and, do, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the U.S. So help my God. The room echoed with applause as a lucky few journalists allowed in to snap photographs of this historic moment. But it's historic for all the wrong reasons. Halfway across the country, the real president, Donald Trump, was holed up with traitors, uh, I mean, patriotic elements of the military, secretly taking the same oath and claiming an office that he had, according to the government, fairly lost. They were on a collision course, and neither of them were willing, neither of them were willing to step out of the way. America weeps. The shadow presidency. Results in the elections have proven that America will face a roughest time not seen since 
not seen since 1861. Our enemies are increasing by passing time, and we must have prepared ourselves in this temporary calm before the storm. <sighs> Can't wait to play that in real life. Of course, I'm getting older. It's not good, but still, come on, we do more than Cook County. Come on, bro. America's people, liberation, and armies forms. That's right. Wait, what are you kidding? What do you have a tail? Where are you? We can't win there, so it'll be it. Right, go here. Far left militias form California and Oregon. That doesn't make that doesn't surprise me. Does it surprise anybody else? No? Okay. FBI raids far right stronghold. Of course the uh, FBI raids them. Country's crumbling, it's alright, it happens. There you go. Uh huh. Get in here. Give them a little bit of the line we tell. Oh, look at this. The nation's future will be determined by those who are willing to step up to the play and sacrifice everything. Thus, we must decide what faction will aid in the event of the inevitable. This nation shall not perish from this earth. Boop. So let these militia guys not do well and let our guys send them in. Bomb in the New York Stock Exchange? Oh boy. Has the fire been lit? If you remember about this, please go ahead. Uh, militia standoff in uh, here? That's not good either. Biden declares a state of emergency. Will things ever turn to normal? Probably not. Oh. We tried, everybody. Snowstorm hit Texas. If you remember that one too, please go right ahead. Pray for Texas. Try to better pray for them. Let's concentrate our guys now. Even though at this point, I don't think there's very much we can do about it. Are you guys just like standing there, waiting? Hello? Most force is seeing these Springfield, Missouri. What have we done? Fan the flames. Rally the people. Underground armaments. We need to stock upon armaments so when the time comes we can use all them to wage war against the corrupt and illegitimate rule back in DC. Do we not we do we not have air superiority? We absolutely should. Let's get an air XP, I guess. I mean finding the air can be tough. Faxing combat intercepted by a militia is not good either though. Can't seem to pierce them. Oh, you're not even working here. Excavation. Research speed. Alright, so you guys are kind of sucking right now. Get up here. Myanmar descends into civil war. Not what do you expect? This is Joe Biden's America. <laughs> Attempt a coup in the Republic of the Congo. Alrighty. You're cut off, which is nice. What are, we fighting? what are we fighting here? Germans? Good. Durable rail systems, those are pretty nice to have, I'm not going to lie. No template. What are we making? Proof man, man portable air defense systems out. It's alright. Get up some Indians. What is being organized? All pretty much normal stuff. Can we get to Medina? That'd be kind of cool. Texas family killed in standoff. A terrible tragedy. Not good. You're gonna hold up my air for now. Underground armaments. Fan the flames. The fires are rising in every part of this country, from coast to coast, from state to state. We need to ignite a war. A war against the corrupt establishment and those who take advantage of the situation. That's right. How are we doing here? I like quite a few planes, don't they? That ain't ideal. There you go. Keep beating them up. To the moon! Look at that, I hate Reddit. 
Accelerate the conflict. Oh, a notable civil war. There we go. Oklahoma can have it. Too busy playing arm, uh, armchair general over here. Got to cut him off. Be nice. There you go. Strike the Rhineland. There you go. Should be able to win there. Chinese are up in the Arabian Republic up there, though. Gotta keep an eye on those guys. And the flames are other people. In the darkest of towns, we must get to convince people that we are fighting this righteous war to save America from petty separatists to fanatical warlords who have the audacity to proclaim themselves an alternative government for America itself. If you can get in there, that'd be great. And counter air operations. Now we're going to counter attack him too. Right there. And then get to Mecca. That's good. people not so good and then the fire raises arises time's come for the save American once we beat all the odds and we can make America truly great again here we go here we go one we go all very great yeah many government falls apart very good very good help them out kill them off that's all you gotta do Okay, they're coming back with a vengeance here. Get to Mecca. You got encircled? Wow. Well, we tried. Come on. Send vaccines, deploy masks, maybe not. Fire rises, very good. You actually broke back through, nice. Good job. It's because you also lost air superiority. You know what? We tried, and I'm done. So. You couldn't hold an air base, so you deserve to lose. Yep, they're gonna fall. We tried to take Mecha, which is ridiculous to take. That's so freaking stupid. So, so, so freaking stupid. You know? We tried very much. But we've got a civil war to do. In three days. You have to hold on to your air bases. Oh, the death of Wall Street. Look at that. The end of America's near. We can collapse. God help us. This is it. Joe Biden. What about financial crisis? Great. Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. And... There we go. Yay, we made it. Alright, this is going to be a giant freaking mess. 
and hold off against these guys is going to be a giant freaking problem for us. But let's begin with what? Crackdown on Denver. Now that we've managed to flee the capital, which has already been controlled by the corrupt establishment in our east, we must first have to deal with these subversive useful idiots who might act as fifth columnists for the traitorous union in our east. Trump announces Denver's new legislative hall. After Trump's hasty departure from D.C., word has from him has been both scarce and unverified, but for the first time in days, the first official claims from him have gone out of the public. The status of the new base of operations for Trump's side has been up in the air for a little while now, but the questions around where it might be has finally been answered as it will be in Denver, Colorado. However, Trump has heavily specified that this should not be considered a capital, but rather a provisional legislative hall. As not to legitimize him as a rightful leader of the United States. Almost immediately after this news came out, the governor of Colorado, Jared Polis, and his family have gone missing mysteriously. The news has sparked mass outrage in the heavily leftist city, with a chance of it's our city, not Trump's city. Being heard across the streets, of course, mass burnings and lootings of businesses. The Denver police are certainly being pushed to the limit with this news, as the riots are proving to be more infernal than the ones experienced last summer. At this rate, Trump may be forced to take drastic action to ensure the security of the city. Fiery, but mostly peaceful for now. All right, so now that we're here, we'll go to war very soon, obviously. But we're going to hold on to our britches as much as we possibly can, because Joe Biden is going to be attacking us extremely fiercely, as far as I know. Um, I'm glad we built up land ports all across the line here, which is very good. I don't know if we need any more. We could probably use one something here. I assume we could use probably some infrastructure all, all around here too. Got to make sure we build ourselves up here. Oh, that good. That's good for oil. Um, build up where we have a lot of resources. You probably might build some military factories. Let's see how we end up first though, because I have never done this before. Let me see. That would be nice. There will be places here and there that I miss, but whatever, it is what it is. Alright. Oh god, we've got to redo this military factory stuff, yeah, that's fine. Um, Springfield, freight trains, fine, whatever. Command, motorized, we get like one on each or something. Gen 2 armor. Modern Gen 2. Mechanized. Utilities. So if it's probably not, let's go artillery. We have to have our art arty. Motors rocket, I'm not sure we use those. I'm not sure we use these either. Um, Anti-tank, we need anti-air. Air defense. Uh, before we do that, so propel guns, yeah. Basic light tanks. We need fighters. We need a lot of freaking fighters. The Warthog is a cast. So basic multi role fighters. Yeah, definitely a lot of these guys. He said, we did not get a lot of the Air Force, unfortunately. Train those guys. Um, infantry divisions are not 50 freaking combat, but those are some really fat boys. Holy cow. Striker brigades, armor brigades. Armor's pretty decent overall. self propelled motorized recon tanks. This definitely needs to be edited. Armor divisions are 46 combat width, though. self propelled anti-air is very nice to have, though. 11 speed. It's not bad. Marine brigade. Infantry brigade. Infantry division. It's not bad. But the 50 combat width, I don't think we need support 50 combat width. Looks like it just doubles of everything. So, what are we going to do? 25 combat with infantry, 50, 50 just too much. We can't do 50s. 25 is probably where we're going to keep it for now. We'll edit this as time goes on. Self-propelled anti-air. Self-propelled, self-propelled artillery. I'm going to actually hit pretty freaking hard. I don't like this armor division. I don't like how much anti-air is in there. Or how much just self-propelled. It's trying too hard to be too many different things, in my opinion. Want tanks? We just want tanks. You want like infantry divisions that have artillery in them, infantry brigades. That'd be one thing. Something like this would be fine. Motorized, motorized. Uh, how much armor do you actually have? Nine and a half. That's not very much. We're gonna build two of you at a time. Uh, for now, we'll build these uh, armor. I can expand this one more and change what this one ultimately is. So that's what, this one. So what do we got here? All I want to paint battle tanks. We have three. Holy crap, that's really bad. The airborne division. Reese infantry is actually supposed to be pretty decent. Well, maybe. We have 44 divisions of. Well, holy crap, that's not good. 
you are going to get smoked so hard. Um, in general, Michael Flynn, uh, John Heighton, because he's good on defense. Infantry. And then... Uh, where are you going to? I'm going to keep you separate. You're going to be the main people that we use to assault. Todd Walters. If we get assault right here and penetrate right there, that'd be great. You have Todd Walters. You are mostly militia. Oh, dear God, save our souls. Uh, John Kelly? Yeah. Oh, you don't have... Oh, okay. There you go. Boop. Boop. Same with you. Who's good in defense? No. No. There you go. Uh-huh. It's fine. Infantry guy. Uh, and then more militia. There you go. So I think we'll look okay. I could be wrong. Everything I do here could be completely vastly wrong. Yes, we'd like to save, yes. Sorry, my bad. Well, we got our economy. Reestablish civilian authority. Balance authority begins in American Constitution government with Congress and military sides. 50% progress towards Congress. Constitutional press with Constitutional Congress. Suspend habeas corpus. Maintain the balance. Rally the Patriots. Raise volunteer divisions. America's call. Lobby for militias. Oh. You're at the All-American Air Force. Desperate measures. Hold your line. National Fury. Marshal the military. Mobilize the militias. Arm the masses. Utilize revolutionary nostalgia. Rehabilitate the military. Stand your ground. I think I like that one. Army innovations would be good. Invoke the Second Amendment. Army reorganization. The National Militia. Old Glory's New Army. Huh. The Eye of Providence. Get another campaign slot would be nice. Suspicious guys. Crush the Deep State. You're fired. Restructure the IC. Back the Blue. Also, National Guard, rekindle nationalism, trial the traitors. So, what is this? Console the Congress, oversee the officers, fight the welfare state. Is that me? No. Uh, liberalize a party. Huh. Towards Congress. Minimize the military. Downsize the bureaucracy. End the treading with Rand Paul. Or maintain the balance, you know. Like Unify loyalists, stabilize the remnants, unite the party, defend American values, realign Congress. Matt Gates, huh? Empower the people. Get yeah, Jim Jordan, that's cool. Marco Rubio. Uh, me or mediate with the military. Propagate American exceptionalism. Appeal to order. Secure the party. Empower the executive branch. Minimize militias. Embrace the Stratocracy. That actually sounds really cool. But then we have everything over here. Activate the Defense Production Act. The Defense Production Act of 1950 is a law that's waiting to be activated ever since the early days of the Cold War. We need to mobilize huge resources in an effort to create new equipment for troops. While military industry might not be significant compared to the Union's military industry, we might have to do what it means to match the strength and ability of the Union in the East, which I do want to get a campaign slot out immediately. Oh, what do we have for National Spirits? Because we need to know these two. We're populous conservatives. Constitutional crisis, of course. An argumentative army. Ooh, when it comes to fighting the civil war, besieging a great nation, our military has come to the conclusion that all hostile elements need to be eliminated in order to facilitate the reunification of America. However, that's where the agreements seem to end. Within the chain of command, factionalism has run rampant with generals and officers at each other's throats or the role of the military in how it fights this war. That's really bad for attack. This gas isn't brought back into order of troops first crossing the Rubicon only to wind up stumbling into the abyss. A rural economy. The states of the Great Plains are not known for their industrial prowess. From the Great Mississippi to the Rocky Mountains, vast farms stretch across the plains containing numerous rural towns and communities, with a few industrial zones in between. As a result, our economy is dominated by the agricultural sector. Our nation's limited industrial capabilities have restricted the ability to develop our industries and hinders our ability to wage long-term industrial warfare against hostile powers. Moderate militia loyalty. 
The web of civilian militias that fill the ranks of much of the Constitutional Army is vast, and with it, so is the level of devotion to the cause of the rightful president and America as a whole. From established militia groups formed in recent years, to volunteer forces raised after the lines were drawn, many have their own opinions as to the nature of warfare being fought, and what they wish to come from the struggle. Currently, they have more or less set these considerations aside, remaining loyal and standing for the orders and directives of the legitimate commander-in-chief. Dilapidated Deep State, the Deep State and its various apparatuses from the CIA to FBI have unveiled its true colors and have embarked on a campaign of terror and destruction against the peoples of America. Though the split from the Deep State from our administration will ensure that America first the general advance on the short term consequence has not only been a complete political whiplash, but a complete collapse of our intelligence sector, with the bulk of our intelligence and community siding in the Deep State. This has made subduing terrorists and rebel cells within our own territories considerably more difficult to handle. Second Amendment, of course, there's that. If you don't need this one, please go ahead. Try it. Uh, got an oil crisis, and of course, Battle for America. President Trump declares state of emergency. The president declared state of emergency, denounced the illegal coup by the Democrats and uh, sympathizers. Oh, legal markets. Um, the United States Armed Forces have seen a wave of defections and struggling to reorganize. Brigades that have defected the Democrats begin to take state capital and find a proper border. Death of traitors. Reunify America. Try it. We're going to do our best here. Get to the lines, my guys. The Denver Crackdown. The war has come to a notoriously liberal city of Denver this week as all local authorities are converging completely on all leftist dissent from the locals. The gloves are off. One war correspondent from the BBC claimed, without respect to the right to assembly, peaceful protests today were broken up by the batons and live gunfire. We saw several demonstrators being shot down in the streets, and spread of gunfire can be heard throughout the entire city. Helicopters have been circling the day all day. The sound of their engines feel omnipresent as the constant dozens of police sirens zipping around the city. Multiple blooms of smoke can be seen right now in the distance, rising from fires lit across the city. To see people are scared will be an understatement, in fact. We have many counts today of leftist militant groups fighting back against the authorities, although to no avail. Violence is especially flaring up, of course, around the Capitol building of Denver. Graphic images of dozens of bodies littered, scattered lifelessly across the granite stairs, and for another building separating or spreading across the social media. Many gunshots from various gunmen are turning fire against the police pepper, the building too. Though there are no reports of dead police yet. As unprecedented violence on behalf of the authorities comes in the wake of Trump moving his provisional base of operations out of D.C. and into the city due to its central position within the country. Around five days ago, the mayor of the city, Michael Hancock, was placed under house arrest. It's not yet known who will be appointed to fill in for his position, and obviously the governor of Colorado, Jared Polis, has been missing the last two weeks as well. In the words of Associated Press war correspondent, the future of the city and of the state remains unknown, but one thing's certain, uh, it's going to get far worse before it gets better. They'll never forget this. We are ready to rumble. We do not have a good... We need we need army XP, because we need to throw an anti-air really, really freaking badly. Do we have any anti-air whatsoever? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did we do those man pads? Yeah. Portable man, po improved man portable air defense systems. So, for example, you throw that on here. Anti air. Self propelled AA. Which would be nice. Cinema companies. Command equipment. Yeah, field hospitals would be nice. Command. Recon detachment. Support anti tank. Support anti air. Ah, see, this is where we need the man pads. There's just a lot, but the anti-air is what we absolutely have to have anti-air. Gives you actually more speed, too. Look at that. Support anti-air. Does anyone else? Air cuts. Huh. Support rocket. Proof anti-tank is nice. Let me grab some of this, too. Spring throat armory. That's the case. So, you're training, but we don't really want you to train. You're going to come here. Fighter. You're doing that. And then you are all fighters, which is nice. So we're going to do that, 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 that. There you go. You do not have a mission? Standing by. That makes sense. That's fine. All right. Between the bullet and the ball pit. Oh, the initial days of the American constitutional government were ones of euphoria and ecstasy. Trump, often spat on papas, ridiculed by every snobbish academic and establishment politician, had defied the also mighty liberal establishment and lived to see the day. However, those days are gone and gave way to today's very harsh reality. Playing politics in pre-war America was one thing, but running a government with deep factionalism during a state of war was another. As on any other day of the week, 
John could be found in his office with a cup of his favorite coffee, fiddling through amount of paperwork submitted for the day. As a government president, he was a final say on a variety of issues and the target of a variety of groups wanting in on some big favors. The American Constitution's government's armed forces, although to the public the most devout of loyal patriots, had quite the in list of interests that they all wanted d dealt with favorably. List of requisition requests, invoices for lots of funds, and requests for issues to be resolved in their favor, but the demands were mind numbingly extensive. Congress always wanted to preserve their say in everything, and their own interests as well, often demanding President Trump to act on the often decried unconstitutional overreach of some key players in the military. Other than the pressing issue of defeating the Biden government in Washington, Congress would often be busy debating and bickering what the military did today that broke some congressional protocol or statute to Trump's annoyance. Among the mess of politics within the American constitutional government, one question remained, what was the commander-in-chief to do? Trump picked up the first packet of invoices for the day, read the title and header, and sighed himself as the only thought had one thought. Make a choice, Mr. President. Look at this pretender. The middleman, an absolute pretender. Look at this handsome guy. Vanguard of America. That's right. Oh, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. And, oh, there you go. The Democrats, of course, refuse diplomacy. The Democratic government has issued a 200-page document detailing their motivations for taking over D.C. and the removal of President Trump. No compromises shall be made. National Fury. Well, here we go. So what is this? As well for the future of America rages on, Grant only wants to demoralize people to fight for the future of this country has been a top priority for the Department of Defense. Though the task has been quite a challenge to ask the average American to take up arms to fight against their former neighbors, the Department of Defense is confident in its ability to rekindle the flame of patriotism and the hearts of the people and mobilize the people to find the war for the future. Hold a small rally, weekly national fury, prepare Minneapolis siege works decision. Citizens, spies, oh. Huh. We have unused air wings? There you go, I guess. And now we're really going to save because this is going to get dicey, my friends. Our attack is god awful. Let's see, are they going to immediately start attacking us? No. Can we start immediately attacking them, perhaps? That'd be really cool. Congress refuses diplomacy, of course. Brothers against brother once more. House divided. If destruction be our lot, we must ourselves be its author and finisher. As a nation of free men, we must live through all the time or die by suicide. Yeah, pretty much. Do not let them stack any more bodies in here. Oh, nope, nope, again. Hold, hold, hold. You really should be green overall, because I've stacked this hard enough. With enough goodness. Get up there, too. I don't think they get any benefit to attack, of course. Uh, Battle for America, oil, they have oil crisis too, which is good. They do have Air Force domination, which isn't nice. Uh huh. Maintain liberties, inefficient economy, uncooperative military. Our defense and whatnot just really sucks really, really badly. No compliance gain. Holy crap, that's really bad. Let's switch this over too. That's right here. We don't invoke emergencies act. It's fine. Future of the government. It was never fully secured by the Trump administration and the remnants of the Congress now comfortably seated. One of the first issues to arise is the status of habeas corpus, suspended by President Abraham Lincoln during the first American Civil War. The military has advocated the suspension of habeas corpus in order to effectively drive back the rebel forces besieging the nation and restore the Union. Congress, on the other hand, has expressed its concern over the potential of suspending habeas corpus, fearing the act would lead to an erosion of the people's government and allow authority and ideals to seep into the government. With still the war still in its early days and the outcome of the conflict not yet decided, a decision made to find Trump's legacy. Shall we go the way of Lincoln and suspend habeas corpus or shall the people's government, despite the current crisis, endure? Well, we will see. Let's see. Establish civilian authority. Suspend habeas corpus. End the treading. I kind of don't want to go this route. But that will determine what we do on this right side here, too. Rally the Patriots. Marshall military, so do we want to go with Congress or military? Oh, hold on, let's come over here first. No. Let's remember the Denver government. Hmm. Because this side's military loyalty on the right. The right side's military loyalty, too. 
Arm the masses. Marshal the military. To the right of the Congress. Total control. Oh, this is this is military? Is this, this, this is militia? Congress. Oh, so that's weird. So, honestly, I think they should flip that. If this is the Congress side, I think it should go... This side should be the Congress side. Keep left to left, right to right. Stand your ground. I kind of want to go this way. To the right, clean range. National militia. Whatever I choose is probably not the right one. Get more attack on this one. Get more reinforce rate. Army organization. Book the Second Amendment. Take back a country? Yeah, that'd be nice. Mobilize the militias. What's you doing rally the Patriots? A good chunk of the U.S. Army, Marines, and organized militias are willing to fight for a beloved nation. It's imperative that we organize ourselves to stand up to the forces of the globalist establishment and other potential enemies. The military has their best interests in mind. Appeal to order. You get more attack and defense for a while. Secure the party. Embrace autocracy. Oh man. I'm mean, gonna play probably Trump at least once or twice. We could go maintain the balance too. Hmm. Down with us a bureaucracy. GOP reborn sounds like fun. Maybe we'll go with this route. We could try it. Congress? I apologize if you don't want us to go this route. But, oh, wait, we can go either one. It doesn't matter. Oh. You would have gotten way more political power. Is this a harder route? We want to get with the good with the wishes of our people. We are desperate for peace and security in these desperate times. We must first reestablish civilian authority so we can ensure that the long cherished tradition of representative democracy survives in these dark times. Oh, we can do, oh, we can do all three, okay. Then either we secure the party, the Trump party, not the party, the liberalize the party. I don't want to liberalize it. Console the Congress. The Congress represents the ideal American way of governance and might be the great way to address Congress in good terms, even if the military might not like it. Activate defense production, though. Revive the civilian economy. Restart the war machine. Build anti-poverty encampments. Encourage domestic production. Well, after this one, we're probably definitely going to go to the, go to the right side because we have to get this military stuff done immediately. Rally the Patriots. And... We'll see. Hmm. It's going to be bad. Take back the country. No, I can't do any of this stuff. So, yeah, Regardless, we're here and we're doing whatever we can. Oh, Congress loyalty, 70%. Military loyalty, 60%. America's under uh, fire from all sides of the political spectrum. But under the constitutional framework we maintain under the 45th president, we'll prove ourselves to be the right government of the once United States. However, our government is currently divided between Congress and the military. We must balance the power and keep the loyalty of these two factions to secure stability in the executive office. Otherwise, disaster is sure to follow, of course. Congress loyalty. Uh, it wants to preserve the civilian administration before the war and prevent the militarization of the economy while still supporting the war effort. They're also more libertarian on social policies. The military wants to make society more order by modeling off more of the army. They want conservative social policies and more militarized, uh, austere economy in order to win the war. I think we'll go with Congress because I was pretty light with all the rioting that what what not has happened. So, five brigades will be formed, instantly canceled, raise many opposition. I want to hold a small rally first. So, what are there? Well, we enjoyed the first episode playing as the the rival president and the market's collapsed because of Joe Biden. Um, if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check them out, it's going to link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow, as we'll see what we can do with good old Donald Trump. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.